All right, welcome back. So back to the iron head. She's running good. Got her all cleaned up. Everything seems to be working great. Except she's leaking a hell of a lot of primary fluid. So one thing I did remember that I tend to forget every year is after it sits all winter long, there's a lot of oil from my oil tank goes into my primary. There's got to be a seal in there somewhere that's going bad and letting it seep through. So my primary always fills up with oil to the point where when I do ride it, it's got nowhere to go, so it blows out the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up so it's level. I'm going to pull out this screw right here. And when it stops draining out of that screw, that's when I know it's at the right level. So let's go ahead and get this up in the air. All right, now that it's upright, let's see if I can get you a better view here. Now let's go ahead and take this out and see much, how much extra oil we have in there. Definitely not as much as I thought, unless it already all came out. I'm going to go ahead and let that drain just until it stops and then take it for a ride, see if she's leaking anymore. I definitely need to replace the primary fluid and I might as well replace the gasket too, so I'll keep watching. That video will come up next. I'll be doing that before Memorial Weekend. All right, well, you can see it's still coming out slowly, but it's definitely adding up. Man, I really need to change that fluid. All right, as you can see, it's still coming out. It's kind of adding up. When it only takes three quarters of a quart, that's quite a bit more. Plus what I leaked there. Plus what I leaked at work and everywhere else I marked my territory. So I'm just going to let that keep draining. Tighten up that screw and I'll take it for a ride. And then like I said before, I'm going to change that fluid because... If you didn't already know, it's not supposed to be that color. Alright, now that it's stopped draining, it took about uh, 15 minutes, let's say. Wipe it off quick. Still coming out a little bit, but that's not going to bother anything. So, what I did here is I found one of those O rings that I used for my chain. And I'm going to put it on there to see if it'll help seal it and uh, not get so much leakage right there. All right, we'll go ahead and pop this in. go I don't want to go too tight all right well as you can see a lot more primary fluid came out than I thought was in there so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up now and take her for a ride see if that stops some of the leakage if not I'll be back in the garage to look for more spots all right, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for my next video. I'll be putting a new primary gasket on and uh, refilling it with primary fluid. All right, now let's fire it up. Gas is ready on. Turn the key on.
All right, well, unfortunately, it wasn't that easy. I need to adjust my push rods. I've known I had to do this. I just keep putting it off, and I don't know why. It's not very hard to do. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to start off by taking off my push rod covers. Put a little screwdriver in here and press down. And that should pop right out. There's my top cover. There's a second one on this side. Now I can push these up. And get to my push rods. Which are right down here. And that one actually feels pretty good. I'll, I'll adjust it anyways, but this one's not that one's very hard won't even budge all right it's always a good idea to put something up here to hold these up so you can get to them down there so i'm gonna find something to hold them upward all right now that i got all four of my push rods adjusted they're really loose all of them i can spin them freely I could spin that one freely and now I can't oh, maybe I missed that one I'll be right back all right I'm back now like I was saying now that I've got all four of my push rods loosened up you can turn them all freely they go up and down a little bit all four of them are like that and as you can see I'm using just some shop towels to hold the hold my push rod covers up in place if you know a better way to do this let me know seems to be working okay though all right so i really moved both my spark plugs to make it a little easier to kick over i'm gonna go ahead and get it at the lowest point So this one here is at its lowest point. I can see it's seated. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that one up. Okay, right there, it's good. Spins freely, but doesn't move up and down. So now I'm gonna tighten up my bottom adjusting nut. All right, now that I lowered this one to its lowest point and I got it tightened up, it doesn't move up and down, just freely back and forth. Now I'm going to go do the next one. This one looks like it's seated now. Well, it feels pretty good right there. A little tight. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the bottom. All right, I got all my push rods properly adjusted. As you can see, this one is seated and it doesn't go up and down, but it spins freely. That one there is seated now. And it also spins freely. That one's seated and it spins freely. And there we go, last one. Spins freely and doesn't go up and down. So that's how you adjust your push rods on an old iron head. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together now, put my spark plugs back in and see if she starts right up for me. All right, now that I got my push rods all adjusted, let's see if she fires right up for me.
All right, took a few kicks, but she was cold. She sounds good. I'm going to take her for a ride. See how she rolls. All right, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video. Hit that like and subscribe.